Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Storytime with Charity. Today, we're going to be reading this book. It's called When God Made Light. It's written by Matthew Paul Turner, illustrated by David Catro. I hope that you really enjoy this book. Get cozy, friends. When God Made Light. I love this, the illustrations of this author in this book. I love them. Let there be light. That's what God said. And light began shining and then started to spread. It flickered and dashed. It blinked and it flashed. Light poured and light spilled. It bolted and splashed. Light glared and glimmered. It flared and sparked. And wherever light shined, dark stopped being dark. In the beginning, space became bright because God filled it with twinkles of yellowy light. Brilliant stars gleamed, swirls of light streamed. In that once empty space, a galaxy beamed. When God made light, a universe lit up a dazzling display of big shiny stuff. And all that light, every bright golden hue, is the very same light that God put inside you. Now God made the sun to light up our days, to cover our planet with life-filled rays, to make summers warm and winters not too cold, to help flowers bloom and turn wheat fields to gold, to burst in the morning at the first crack of dawn, to rise up slowly and beam across lawns. And when the sun shines, here's what you should do. Go run and have fun, play a game, maybe two. Go skipping or flipping or down a slide slipping. Or if it's too hot, in a pool, just go dipping. No silly puppy. Dance in the grass, go climbing in trees. Build castles with sand, face the wind, feel its breeze. Eat berries and cherries in a patch. Pick strawberries or whistle out loud with a choir of canaries. And once in a while, when the playing is done, look up in the sky and thank God for the sun. And when the light fades, a day ends too soon, wave goodbye to the sun and hello to the moon. Yes, God made the moon to brighten the sky's night, to reflect the sun's shine, to be our world's night light. But beneath a dark sky, there are things you can do. Just bring mommy or daddy and a flashlight or two. Raise a tent and go camping or through the woods stamping, romping and stomping on paths made for tramping. Catch fireflies in jars, go gazing at stars, try counting and seeing how many there are. See constellations, shapes and formations. Find a lion or bear amid heaven's creations. Sing songs round campfires. Make marshmallow s'mores. Let grandpa tell stories. 
wage flashlight wars. Now when God made light, God made all different kinds. Some sparkles, some flares, but all light shines. It flashes in bolts when lightning is crashing or bursts through the sky when a comet is dashing. And if you ever feel scared in the darkness of night, remember the shadows are no match for God's light. Climb into bed, sleep soundly and dream, and know that inside you, God's glow is a gleam. Because you're just like the sun and moon in the sky, as lustrous as twinkles that dazzle the eye. You're as splendid as lightning when it flashes so bright, because on the day you were born, God said, let there be light. So beam like the sun, glimmer like a star, and wherever you go, dark will stop being dark. Shimmer and shine, be a beacon so bright, because when God made you, child, God made light. It's a beautiful owl. Isn't that amazing, friends? God is amazing. God made light. God loves you. You are a light to God. I'm excited to get to know you more, friend. I hope that you have a great day. See you soon. Bye.